Don't leave. Don't leave. <laughs> My flight is delayed. How about that? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and check out our other YouTube channel for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Go to BehindTheZoo.com and hit subscribe while you're there. Here we go. Caleb, what subject are you on? Um, Science. Language. Language. We typically start with language. What subject are we starting on? Pen and chip. Pen and chip. Okay, do this. Do could this. I, could I just do one page? Yes. To me, what are we working on? Uh, the low. School work? Yeah. Okay. So we need to match the letter with what it starts with. Okay? Okay. Uh-huh. Where does that one go? Good job. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> Timmy has finished his schoolwork basically uh, with like three months to spare. So we're working on his name and we're working on counting. He can do pretty much to ten. Um, and he does really well and we're learning how to draw letters and he really really likes school. He really enjoys school. Timmy, do you like school? Yes. Yes. You're almost done with friendship. Keep going. You're doing a good job. Caleb finishes language and he's moving on to read and think. It's basically reading comprehension. Katie's working on the book that our viewer gave her today for homeschool. What does B make? The sound B makes. Buh. Good. F. F. P. P. B. B. Logan has started learning about word problems in math. So he did two plus four is six, and two plus three is five. So once Caleb is done with language, he moves on to a Becca Academy, and he watches videos and does book work. So this is Bible. And he does history and math as well on Abeka Academy. How do you like your videos? Uh, it takes me half the day to finish them. No. Like literally, I have like uh, five videos to finish every day. Two history, one Bible, um, one math. Uh, Sometimes art. Actually, two Bible and two history. Do you got a girlfriend? I think you do. No. No. Are you sure about that? No. Then there's a lot of pretty girls out that like you. Mm -hmm. Caleb is learning about fractions in math today. He's also learning about multiple steps of a word problem. We did all that on the board. We're at soccer practice tonight. Logan's got soccer practice. I'm leaving. <laughs> leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when. I'll be back again. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'll be back Thursday. <laughs> Everyone go, don't leave. As you can see, the kids are so emotional. 
They're not having to fake it at all. <laughs> Logan's our feeler. Katie doesn't, she, she just wants to be silly. Caleb's a little sad. Logan's our feeler, so he's sad. And Timmy's kind of sad. Daddy's Timmy's going. Saying, feel, I'm going to miss daddy. I'm going to miss daddy. I'm, uh, I am not feeling 100% at all. Me too. But I've got to go. There's no option to not <laughs> take this be test. So I've got to get on a plane and go to Wake Forest and take my PhD we will entrance be right exam. Back. We will be right back. I will be right back. Daddy will be right back. Yeah. So I've got to go take my exam. I will be back in a day and a half from now. It's like 7.30 at night, so I've got to go get on. My, my plane leaves at 10, so I've got to go get to the airport, get through security and all that fun stuff. And uh, this is our first time vlogging separate. So the Norp family from Norp and South does this all the time. Where, yeah, yeah, where they are, they're off somewhere completely separate. Like he, he recently went on a trip, I think somewhere, I forget okay. where he went and he was separate from her. So mm. it'll be fun to edit video where she's having to like upload it to me. <laughs> oh, this won't be stressful at all. Our channel can't pause while I'm taking this exam. So I just want to say, by the way, before I leave, just thank you to all the people who have been so sweet about saying get well soon and everything yesterday. Uh, I do remember everything I said at the end of the video. I wasn't that delirious. It was kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> it was actually really funny when I was, I had to help edit it and it was making me laugh even then. Anyways, thank you for all the people who have been really sweet and saying get well soon, Mike. And uh, I know you guys really depend on our channel, love our channel, so. It's gonna be all right. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. And then last but not least, this little lady's gonna miss me. I know she'll miss me. Melanie was actually quite helpful getting me prepared to leave. If not for her, I wouldn't even be going, much less possibly succeeding at taking this test and getting into this program. So I owe everything to this woman. I don't mean to rub it in, honey, but it's 36 degrees outside where I'm going right now. Ah, it's supposed <laughs> to be in the 30s this weekend. Here? Yeah. Oh my goodness. A good jacket. Yep. I'm good. Oh boy. I um I gotta tell you, now that I'm by myself here and I'm off, I left the house, said goodbye to everybody. I gotta tell you, I uh I don't know how truly prepared I am. I'm kinda nervous. Kinda nervous. It's a very subjective exam. It's not like multiple choice or anything like that. It's a writing exam and it is six hours long. It's only two questions, two questions in the whole test. And you get three hours for each question. <laughs> oh my goodness. And they expect you to write for 90 minutes on the subject that you're given. The great part is that they do give you a study guide with 12 questions on it that you should prepare uh, to answer. So I've been obviously looking at that study guide pretty heavily. No matter how much you study, you just wonder if you're going to still somehow sit down for the test and just blank and forget everything. So at this point, it's just a waiting game. I will sit down for my exam, oh wow, in less than 13 hours. 13 hours from now. So I've got to fly up to Raleigh, North Carolina and then get to my hotel tonight and I'll walk, you'll be with me throughout the whole night and, and check in and get to bed and then wake up, get breakfast and rush off to get to the seminary so that I'm in place and ready to go by 9 a.m. for the test to start right at 9. Anyways, so I need to, I need to put that out of my head. That is 13 hours from now and I just need to get safely to the airport and get through security and hey just enjoy the flight right enjoy the quiet and I don't know just try and make the best of it and not be nervous the last it really wouldn't help me to sit here and worry and wonder I just I'm gonna be in prayer a lot and putting it in the Lord's hands um, the cool thing is that the campus I'm going to and that I will get to show you in tomorrow's video is the campus where I studied for my doctorate degree. It's the same campus, the same school where I am, you know, applying for entrance into the PhD program. Uh, the, some of the professors might be the same, a few of the faces are the same, but the program is definitely different. And the campus is 
absolutely the same. It's a beautiful campus. I love the Southeastern Baptist Theological Seminary campus. If you don't know that seminary, I'll say it again. Southeastern Baptist Theological Seminary. In fact, if you're considering seminary or anything like that, that's the place I recommend. You can actually check them out on their website at sebets.edu. That would be www.sebts.edu. That's sebts.edu. Uh, Melanie actually studied some there too. An incredibly great school, highly great commission focused. I mean, what more could you hope for than that in a, in a seminary than that they would prepare you to do as a Christian what you're called to do, which is fulfill the great commission until the Lord returns. Enough about that stuff time to travel. Although it does feel weird not traveling with my family. I considered bringing the family and making a, a little weekend trip out of this, but it's yeah, that would be really overkill for a simple exam, so by myself. I'm here at the airport. It's a beautiful night, actually. I think it's in the high 60s, but what I'm, where I'm going, it's going to be a little colder. Melanie was, she saw a few minutes ago, Melanie was a little jealous that I get to go to the cold weather, but then we're supposed to get a cold front here in Florida anyways, so she'll get her cold weather on the weekend. Just gotta check my bag, head over to security, and get over to my gate. Got plenty of time, I came plenty early in case it was busy, and it turns out the airport is very busy, so. Bag is checked, headed to my gate. The lines are so small, it's nice, it's perfect. It's crazy actually how few people there are must be flying at the right time. So I'm through security and to my gate, and I still have like an hour to spare. So um, I'm gonna do some video editing, get today's video partially edited. So when I get to my destination, hopefully I can just go to sleep. So my flight is delayed. How about that? Uh, and they don't even know to tell us how long it's gonna be delayed. I don't know what's really going on because every time they made an announcement, I had my earbuds in, I was editing. So I. <laughs> I don't want to ask the people around me because I don't want to be that guy who's not paying attention, like that guy who doesn't pay attention in class. Um, but I'm sitting here just waiting to board. My flight was supposed to leave two minutes ago and we haven't even started boarding. We're probably at least 20, 30 minutes delayed. So there's 20 minutes less sleep I'm getting tonight from my test tomorrow. Great, good, 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 good stuff. my study notes for tomorrow. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the forward entry door has been closed. Now it's the time to power down all cellular as well as power, uh, I mean, yeah, take off cellular. Got my bags and I'm headed to get my car, my rental car. It's nice and cold here. Feels really good. Sorry, Mel. Got my car, headed off to Wake Forest. I landed actually in Raleigh and you have to drive probably about 20 minutes to Wake Forest. Go into the hotel and I'm gonna hit the hay. So I'm just gonna say this now. If you like this video, give it a like and leave a comment. Ever since we've been back to doing daily vlogs, we've had great views and watch time and engagement. So just please keep liking our videos, keep commenting, keep watching the whole thing and keep subscribing and sharing and all that good stuff. And I can't wait to see you all tomorrow. Good night. Announcing the new Two in a Zoo gift shop. We heard your request and now we have merch available for purchase. Check out the link in the description and be sure to grab your favorite Two in a Zoo merchandise today receive your item, we'd love to see you wearing it, using it, drinking out of it, or just enjoying it. So be sure to send us a picture of you and your favorite items to Mike and Mel at 2inazoo.com. Thanks for the support and happy shopping.